Did you know that antibiotics aren't the only option for treating SIBO? Yeah, that's right. While antibiotics are often the go-to treatment for SIBO, there are also some powerful herbal remedies that many people don't know about. So which one is better for you? Let's dive in. Let's talk first about the antibiotics. The most common one used for SIBO is called rifaximin. It targets the bacteria in the small intestine without affecting the good bacteria in your colon. Pretty cool, right? So if you do have hydrogen-dominant SIBO, this one is often the go-to treatment. If you instead have a methane-producing SIBO, then the treatment will be a combination of rifaximin with another antibiotic called the neomycin. While for hydrogen sulfide SIBO, uh, they will usually use, uh, again, rifaximin with bismuth. Antibiotics are not the only options, like I said uh, earlier. Herbal remedies like oregano oil, berberine, and allicin have been shown in studies to be just as effective as antibiotics in many cases. They work to reduce the bacterial overgrowth and can be a gentler option for many people. The great thing about herbs is they can be less disruptive to the gut microbiome and often have fewer side effects but they do take a bit longer to show results. So patience is key. So which one is better, antibiotics or herbs? Well, it really depends on your type of uh, SIBO and your symptoms and how your body responds to the treatment. Some people start with antibiotics and if those don't work or if symptoms come back pretty quickly, they will try herbal remedies instead. Others, they go straight to the herbal remedies. And some studies suggest that a rotating treatment between antibiotics and herbs can be the most effective way to keep those bacteria in check. So if you are battling with SIBO, remember there is, there is not one size fits all treatment. The best approach is the one that works for your body. Talk to your doctor about your options and don't be afraid to explore what feels right for you. Follow for more SIBO advice.